Let's now take a look at the oscillator section. I'll set the balance here to the fundamental, so we just hear the pure triangle shape. The oscillator section has a big pitch control dial and a smaller fine tune control dial. There's a linear FM input and there's the 1 volt per octave input. Now, of course, with the MIDI in, I can control this oscillator directly. Playing on the MIDI keyboard will generate the CV for the oscillator as well as a gate signal to trigger the contour. Alternatively, you can use a controller like the QNexus to generate 1 volt per octave pitch CV and gate CV separately and plug them into the 1 volt per octave input on the oscillator and the gate on the contour to get the same result. Now the first thing I'm going to do is to tune this oscillator. I'm playing a C on the keyboard, but as you can see on the tuner, we're not getting the correct note. So I'll set this main pitch control to the lowest. And use a fine tune to get it right up to a C. This fine tune dial has a nice wide range, so we shouldn't have trouble getting there, even if we're far away. All right, so now it's in tune. One nice thing is that the oscillator tracks pretty well, just like an East Coast module. So you can play this like a mono synth. Okay, so that's the pitch and fine pitch control. We will check out Linear FM later on. Let's look at the two outputs here. Right now we're hearing the triangle shape. If I play a note, you can see it is a triangle shape. And you can also hear that. But we can replace this by patching in the square to the input here. This will replace the triangle with the square output. Even though the balance is set to the fundamental, we have now replaced the fundamental signal with the square wave. So think of this as an external audio input. And to hear it, the balance style needs to be towards the fundamental. As you can hear, it's a lot louder and brighter. You can tone things down with the low pass gate. And that's pretty much it for the oscillator section. Of course, the real fun happens when we get into this section here. So let's check that out in the next tutorial.